Hi, I'm Intan Rahayu Bindi Shamsuddin, the leader of Group C. My team members are Nur Shafika binti Muhammad and Nur Fahana binti Mazlan. We are conducting a simple project about shock alarm circuit using piezo sensor that has many applications for home to automobiles. The main application of this circuit is to use it as an additive alarm in automobiles. A piezoelectric sensor is used as the shock sensor which has to mount it on the door which you have to protect. Now, I will explain about the problem statement and the solution. The problem statement is, when people leave their house, they will not know what will happen to their house either they live for a short or long period. A shock sensor works in two ways. First, the sensor is detecting a continuous attack such as tapping. The second way is, it works in detecting a single heavy impact. A shock sensor does not wait for the thieves to smash through the glass before activating the alarm. This means it could halt and scare off of the thieves before they have broken into home. The solution for the problem is, our project is about piezo sensor which used in shock detection and machine monitoring applications. The device will produce sound automatically if someone was trying to pull the beading of the window. It will count each step and then activate the alarm after so many. Okay, this is about the technical details of our project. Here, the IC1LM3558 is wired as an inverting Schmidt trigger. The port R1 sets the threshold voltage of the circuit. R1 is used as a feedback resistor. When not activated, the output from the piezo sensor will be low, and so do the output of the IC. When the piezo sensor is activated, its output voltage goes high and triggers the Schmidt trigger. This results the beeping of the buzzer. The buzzer remains beeping for some time even if the vibration is removed. This is because the increase in the inverting input has little effect when the IC is triggered and the state can't be easily reversed. There is some circuit components that we use in our project. The first one is resistor. 15k and 1 mega ohm variable resistor 22k ICLM358 diode 1N4001 piezo buzzer piezo sensor battery AAA that is 3 volt switch breakboard and wires Hi, uh, this is our circuit about a lamp shot circuit and we are using piezo sensor. Okay, first of all, this is a triple A battery and I will put this triple A battery into this battery holder to make this circuit function. And then I will tap the piezo sensor to make it sound. Yeah, it produces sounds. So I will tap it again. It still produce sound, so uh, I will adjust the variable resistor to make the sound louder. Yeah, that's it. Hello everyone. There are some problems that we face during conduct this project. First, wrong code of component. At first, we bought the variable resistor for 1 kilo ohm, but the resistor should be 22 kilo ohm. When the variable resistor connect to the circuit, we could not adjust the treasure voltage to the higher voltage due to limited resistance. Second, malfunction component. The buzzer did not trigger and does not produce sound when the sensor is tapped for a few times. Third, Incorrect connection. After all connection are done, the circuit still not function. We discover that our connection is wrong. Next, overheating of component. Component overheat due to high voltage of current supply from the battery. If this continuously, it might burn the IC. 
Last, not enough equipment. During conducting our project, we do not have enough equipment such, such as wire stripper to cut the wire. This tool is important to match the notch size to the wire size, which is very important for not damaging the wire. To overcome the problems, first we bought the correct code of variable resistor that is suitable for the circuit to operate. Second, we replaced the buzzer and the sensor with new one to make the circuit function well. Third, we have to refer back to the circuit diagram and start it all over again. Next, we have to reduce the number of battery. This drop of voltage across the component gives the change current in the component. Last, to get enough equipment, we borrow certain tools at laboratory in order to complete our project. So, to conclude, the shock alarm circuit project is successful and the circuit is used for safety reasons.